Growing up poor, black, and gay, I never imagined that someone like me could be in Congress. After winning a congressional primary this week, Mondaire Jones is on the cusp of shattering stereotypes, creating history. There's never been an openly gay black member of Congress, but, but that changes this time around. Two New Yorkers, Mondaire Jones and Richie Torres, now stand to become the very first openly gay members of the U.S. Congress. Jones won the Democratic primary to represent parts of Westchester and Rockland counties. Jones is a lawyer, worked in the Obama administration, and was born and raised right here in this community. Growing up, uh, as recently as, as maybe five years ago, I just didn't think that that would be something that, that people would accept. Uh, and so I'm really grateful to see the, the, the sea change in public opinion. So I'm openly LGBTQ. I'm proud of my identity. I will never run away from my identity. City Councilman Richie Torres is ready to become Congressman Torres as he leads by a significant margin in the primary vote count in the South Bronx. One of his opponents in the race had a history of making public homophobic remarks. The voters cast their ballot overwhelmingly for a new generation of leadership. Christopher Collins McNeil is a political communications strategist. The black people, especially gay black people, um, who have these intersecting identities, oftentimes, always have to fight much harder. Um, and but oftentimes, because we have to fight harder, the victory the victory is so much so much sweeter. If Torres goes on to win in November, he would also become the first openly gay member of New York City's congressional delegation. It's one thing to have an LGBTQ Congress member from Chelsea. It's something else to have it from the South Bronx. That represents a new kind of breakthrough for LGBTQ representation in politics. 